No, no, you're not dreaming. You saw the title correctly. We are we finally, finally watching Doom 3. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reacts. You did some Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, it's Twitter, 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 Twitter,
it's obviously not a perfect film. And I went into this kind of just, I wanted to be entertained. Kind of similar to how I go into some of those Hindi ones of like, it, it, it's not like Kuch Kuch Hota Hai at all. <laughs> in terms different. of like, <laughs> that has a bunch of cheesy acting and, and all that. So it's not like that film, but in terms of I'm going into that film, I just want to be entertained. I went into the same way. Me too. Um, so for the most part, I did. And yeah, I went in with very low expectations so that I wasn't in a position to yeah. like be really, really... Uh, I, there was parts that we'll talk about that, that I do agree that are still lingered from the first one of same stuff that I kind of just... Uh, I just wish weren't there. Yeah, uh, and then obviously some VFX stuff. I thought this one was very, very pretty in terms of the overall cinematography of it. The best thing about this is the cinematography. The cinematography. Uh, I do like, kind of like, because action is not really my genre. I, I've, I've explained that before. Um, but when you can do it well, and why I think sometimes it does do well, is when you don't, you don't focus on the actors. And it's kind of just, here's another action scene. There's about five minutes of dialogue. Here's another action scene. Here's, and so if you can keep me entertained in those, I'll probably be like, okay, that's good. Uh, it still wasn't, it still wasn't amazing. I, I still wasn't like um, blown away um, by this film. But overall, I can say I did enjoy the film. Uh, but there were, I, I do agree, there, there were still uh, quite a few issues. But let's talk about some of the stuff we did like. Did you like any of the actors in um, I like the character a lot of, uh, what's her face? His love interest. The I like the way she was written. The first, and uh, what was her name? Sorry. D, uh, this one right D here. Deva Sena? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anush, sorry for saying, Anushka. Anushka Shetty. Shetty. Yeah. I liked her, I liked her character, and I liked her performance, actually, as well, even though I do, there's a lot of melodrama in this. Uh, um, but I, I, I enjoyed her character and how strong the character was. I like, that was my favorite part about her character was mm -hmm. how she was written. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but I, I, there wasn't, it was what I, it was what I, what I was anticipating based on Bahubali. It was mm -hmm. similar in the, in the performances and the stylization. It's definitely... Not my cup of tea. Yeah. This style, I think, in the same way that you don't like the way Sanjay Leela Bansali stylized Devdas. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and also the stylization in that Bengali film we watched uh, where it was uh, somewhat, I don't want to say hyper theater. Which one? But it was the one, the director, I'm forgetting his name right now. It's the one film of his that we've seen. It was very dark. Bengali. Uh, Bengali. It was very dark. Um... I don't know. Maddening. I don't know. Uh, oh. But anyway. Um, that film. But anyway, that th there's just stuff about this for me. And he, what it really boils down to for me is not just in the acting, because this, this impacts the acting. It impacts the overall storytelling, the choice of action sequences. Is I, I'm okay when certain films... Uh, and a lot of them were South Indian films when they do stunt work where we've talked about the laws of physics not being there, right? Yeah. I understand that. And, and I, can, I can strain credulity a lot of the time for that. This went for me way beyond straining of credulity and credulity. It, it, it entered into the level of why am I even supposed to believe that in any way shape or form mm. and that's one of the things that's difficult for me because all of the action heroes that happen in, in western cinema when I was growing up and even still to today like the Marvel Universe first of all all of the Marvel Universe what makes them so wonderful is everybody has most of the DC and, and Marvel superheroes have failings and weaknesses and makes them more relatable and that's the thing about growing up was that the heroes that I grew up with and watched in film the heroes inspired me and made me believe I could be like them. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like Bahubali or the characters in this, especially him, I think it's so ridiculous that it's like, you could never, not only could you never attain this, nobody could ever attain this. Yeah, well, I, uh, I think it's because they're supposed to be godlike. Yeah, I, but he, I think it has like Hindu folk, not, I don't want to say folklore, but Hindu. Yeah. Um, religious story or... It does, but even then it's like, okay, if, so, for example, and I'm not saying this is just, this is this is from 
anything in the film. I'm just giving this as an example or even some of Hindu mythology because we know so little about it. Mm -hmm. But let's say, for example, you're telling a story about a guy who gets his head chopped off and he gets mad and puts his head back on and spits blood out and then kills you. Mm -hmm. and I, I, it may be a wonderful piece of literature and it may be a wonderful piece of history, but I'm not going to believe a story where a guy got his head chopped off and he got mad and put his head back on and spit blood at you. Well, it depends on the style of film. If it it's will never be. If it's fantasy. it's No, even if it's fantasy. You'll never see something like that in uh, unless... I mean, I can't even imagine anything remotely ap approximating that. Everything fantasy that's been popular here in America in recent history, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, The Wizarding World, they strain credulity, but they don't completely defy the laws of probability and physics. Everybody still is within the time space. Well, those, those are for the most part, are still in, in the, the world where I'm talking like, if you get in like Guillermo del Toro um, style, you're in a completely different universe um, and stuff like that. I mean, Harry Potter has a headless person. It's, <laughs> it's a ghost. Uh, but it's, it's still a ghost. It's uh, I'm, I'm just trying to... Um, tell you the different side of that because there are points to at, in certain stories maybe if we knew the story i do agree there was, there was many points of straining credulity in this oh, not, it was transcendent beyond i'm not I mean, like it like was... when obviously they did the the, the freaking tree <laughs> thing and then landed like they just jumped five feet well even from, <laughs> I was, I was... it was cool for like entertainment value but yeah, yeah see even for completely the, uh the the the, the illogic aspects of it because i don't mind i love mm. fantasy I love the fantastical, but even at the very beginning of the film, so when his when the mom is walking with fire on her head and she has to keep going and not be stopped, and the elephant is going crazy, right? Bahubali is in a shed with this statue he's going to pull out and knock the elephant over with, and it's going to be an archway for her to walk through. How did... How did he know that that, that elephant was going to go on a rampage and he was going to need to do that? Who locked him in the shed? And how is he in the dark knowing the right time for himself to come out and break out of the shed to do that for his mom? I, I just, there's so far beyond the capacity of logic mm. that I can't become involved. Mm. And exactly. it was like that throughout over and over and over again where I was like... Well, I think it's mostly just because he's, he's, he's basically almost a demigod. Um, and so there's a lot of that. So it's basically like if... Um, What's his face from Moana? Was his, uh, was was a r real life character essentially? Um, the Dwayne Johnson. The Dwayne Johnson, because he was a, he was a demigod, um, and so he was he was essentially Bahubali is essentially a demigod, um, and that's right. That's but that's, one, a, that's his whole story. But and that's so, a good example. There's nothing even remotely close to that in Moana. Um, well, Moana. Well, he does turn into a shark. Halfway. Yeah, he does. But I mean, being a shapeshifter and turning into a shark. That is straining credulity. Uh, I, I, I just, and it has, a, at least there's some semblance of logical format mm. for, for, for me. It, there just was way too much stuff where it was like beyond the transcendent. Under, I just couldn't be, I can't, when things defy definitively all probability and all laws of physics and all rationale, it's extremely difficult for me to give it a tip of the hat and go, I'm enjoying that. Mm. That's, that's me. Gotcha. Yeah. But uh, you did enjoy, you said the cinematography? It was ex unbelievable, yeah. as was the film editing yeah. and sound. Technical aspects like cinematography, editing, and sound were spectacular. I, I, am, I can imagine, I did my best to give myself the Full theatrical experience. So I had I had my laptop like right here with my AirPods, full mm -hmm. sound, lights completely out. Yeah. So I could be as immersed into it as I possibly could. Yeah. And and I can't imagine how amazing it must have sounded on and looked big on screen. screen. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that's why I'm I'm really excited about RRR because one, um, same director. So I'm I'm hoping because that was one of my favorite parts as well. The cinematography was absolutely gorgeous. I gorgeous. love the so even though we've seen the song before. I love yeah, it again. I, I, Oh when, yeah, when they the kind ship. of went up in the ship, and it was kind of like this fantastical song of their like a love song uh, between the two. I love that. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was great. I do like. I know why some of like the action scenes aren't as good as like Marvel. Obviously, I know they spend double the amount that even though this is a massive budget, Marvel spends a double the amount or triple or quadruple or whatever. But still, I wish I don't care what you spend. I just want it to look good. So, real. the fact that you didn't spend as much as Marvel means nothing to me. 
Because just like I don't care what you make on a film. No, just, it's true, and you and you don't have to go that route. I mean, that's one of the that's one of the beautiful things about the original Star Wars films, is it was so real because mm -hmm. they didn't have the money to go completely overboard. So the majority of what they do is just and, intimate, close, believable, real things. And the like worst lay, lay, lightsaber fighting. The worst films were the one, two, and three where they right just where they overkilled, overkilled right. on CGI, and it was bad CGI. Right. Um, and so, like, even though a lot of the CGI was actually, I think, really good, much better than the first one because they had more money, but still, there was a lot of moments where it was clear that this was an animated person going right this way, or like it's you could tell, and obviously it took you out of the moment a lot when that happens and that, so that's why i'm like i don't care that you spend half as much i want you to spend the amount it takes to look perfect uh <laughs> um that's just if, if that's what your film is going to rely on i want you to spend the i don't care the amount of money just like all these films that have been waiting i'm like okay keep waiting keep working keep fine-tuning your film sure, and right. making it look absolutely perfect because there's films and rr coming out there's uh the parent boo there or not parent boo um the Push, push pop. Uh, I believe it's another Telugu film. Uh, there's that, that one with Alia and Ren Beer. That's that big epic that they've done like motion posters mm -hmm. for. Yeah. That I'm like, okay, spend all the time you need <laughs> and literally get the CGI right if your film is yeah. focused on CGI. The uh, Avatar films, they're filming what? The next, even though nobody asked for them, the right. next four films all at once. And I think one of them's like 70% underwater. Correct. And so they're going to need to spend years literally just doing the, just CGI, doing the CGI on these films. Right. And you need, if, they, if your film's going to rely on CGI, you need to do that. It's, it's yeah, one because of those if things. we're watching something and it's flawless CGI, and then the next moment you can tell this is just average CGI, and you can mm -hmm. tell it's CGI, it, it pulls you away. And yeah. it's just, it's not, there's no excuse for it. Mm hmm. I mean, to say we didn't have the money, it's like, okay, well then maybe you shouldn't have shot it that way. Yeah. Uh, but I did like their, well, I don't know if their relationship, I did like like how Prabhas defended her. She was probably my favorite character in the whole thing. Um, the, Thank you. Thank um, you. I liked just the, how, how strong and independent she was. She didn't take anybody's shit. Even the queen mother, whose eyes were about to pop out of her head the entire <laughs> film. Like, they are like... Like, they looked like they were about to pop outside of her head. Every single scene was just her pissed off. And whenever I hear Queen Mother, it just brings me back to Game of Thrones. <laughs> Every single time, I was like, Queen, the Queen Mother uh, reminds me of Cersei. Um, but she was essentially playing one of those style of characters uh, in it. I thought the, the villain, I thought I liked him as a villain. I wish they would have written it better um, in terms of, like, dialogue a lot of times. I think that's one of the biggest things with these two films, Baha Bali 1, Baha Bali, is a lot of the dialogue seems like cheesy dialogue in terms of like action, but I liked him. I think he could, I think he did a good performance. I think he could have been a great performance if it would have given actually a, a better script in my opinion. Yeah, I also um, didn't feel like we learned anything revelatory new about why um, Katapa kills Bahubali, you know, because mm -hmm. this was partly supposed to be, this is kind of, you know, this is like in flashback, other things that were going on at the time that we didn't get to see in the first film, mm. kind of like Rogue One, I guess, but with the same characters. So <clears throat> for me, I, I felt like there wasn't anything really satisfyingly concluding in terms of understanding why certain things happen and actually certain things seemed odd in the context of the first one it's like okay i remember what happened in the first one so if this happened simultaneous we actually have like it feels like two different stories but they can't be because it's supposed to have happened simultaneous and that's another thing oh no they're two different no they're two different stories well but it's 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 the story you're still with bahubali well that's his dad this story was basically the story of his dad. Do you want to pick up on that? Yes, but then we get back to the story yeah, of him killing at, him. At the end, yeah. Right. We but get they, to they that are, story. There are two different stories. Yes, so and like, then it's is, his grants, and it's three generations. Yeah, but this is, yeah, it's not the same time. This was 26 years. Mo this, most of this film took part 20, I think it said 26 years. No, I'm, I'm talking about, years. I'm talking about that, that portion of the why, because 
I, maybe it wasn't supposed to be that way. Maybe they felt like they said everything they were supposed to say about why he did it in the first yeah, one. Yeah, I, I do agree. It wasn't satisfying for me, the the why he killed him. Just that he he wanted to do his duty to defend the king. I mean, to uh, obey the king. Which uh, seemed incongruent to me. Uh, essentially. Because um, he had committed himself to protect Babu Bali. Bali. And he was like just threatened with, well, if you don't do it. Okay, well, I guess I'll do it because I don't want this woman who's wrong to carry the sin of it. Uh, so I will. I just it didn't. Again, yeah. it was another one of deeply illogical. Yeah, I do agree with the, especially that aspect. I, I don't think that was a satisfying. I thought we were going to get some much better reveal of why he stabbed him at the end of the film because that was that, that big cliffhanger of oh my god he killed Bahubali what why did he kill Bahubali and then I was I was I was looking for a better one um I thought the songs in this were good I think I like the first songs better though in terms of the I like I think I think this one's prettier but I think I remember the songs from the first one I think they were a little more epic mm. uh I don't know if you remember the songs from the first one very very well I do I think the they said pretty songs but I think the first one I think had better songs in terms of yeah, I felt like, I, I don't know, I felt like they were kind of comparable. Comparable. I do remember being blown away by the visuals of that, that song with the ship. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, yeah, that was a fantastic and, and, song. And, and just, his visuals. The visuals on that. I think they spent all their money. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> like all their VFX money on that song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In general, because that was one of the most gorgeous parts of the in, entire... And I really did try, like, as much as, you know, I really did try, okay, just think of this as a comic book. Think of this as as cartoonish. Think of this as pure mythology that has no grounding in reality. But even still, mm -hmm. uh, it makes it unrelatable to me. And when a film is unrelatable, and I'm, I'm not saying this is the takeaway everybody should have. Mm -hmm. This may be everybody's cup of tea in the same way that there's certain movies and things that I just, I see them and, like, I do not understand the popularity of Boyhood. Uh, so, uh, so I, I, in no way is my saying I don't like it, uh, uh, chastising it and saying anybody who did like this, I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know what, uh, I just cannot relate. Mm -hmm. I just, I just, I just can't, I can't relate to it. So. Well, I feel everybody watching is going to be very understanding. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's why I don't look at the comments hardly at all. I've been telling you that from the beginning. Right? Yeah, it was wise words. I'm, I'm applying your wisdom. <laughs> Just, <laughs> the internet is a terrible, terrible Yeah, so place. all of you writing stuff to me right now on this, I ain't gonna be reading it. Um, but anyways, uh, I know RR is it's supposed to come out in October. And if that comes out, obviously we will be watching that. Um, hopefully in theaters. We'll see. Yeah. Um, because, Same thing with uh, KGF two man. I oh just, yeah, KGF I want that two. In the theaters. Push Push Pa, which is the one with Fahat Fasil, is going to be the villain in that. Remember? That's right. Um, yeah. The, the teaser, which I'm running through the thing, it looked really really oh, good. I will say this about uh, Prabhas and uh, um, Rana Dagabadi. He played the brother, right? Yeah. Okay. They both in the first one, but even more so in like in this one as well. Just whoever their personal trainer is and their dietitian, man, freaking, I believed, especially Prabhas, he carries himself with a way, if there's one thing that was, if, the, if I would say there's one thing that was like believable to me, mm -hmm. uh, it was, I agree with you, it was her as, a, as that, as that uh, princess, yeah. and it would be him, which is saying a lot about him, because when you're, when you're being asked to portray a, a demigod, for lack of a better term, uh, you're, you have to be pretty special to be able to carry that off. Yeah. And that is something I didn't disbelieve him as Babu Bali yeah. in the film. Mm -hmm. It was just everything else surrounding it that was beyond, and some of the things that he did. But him portraying the character, I can't imagine them putting anyone else, really anyone else in the role. Yeah. Because I, I think he's perfectly fit for it and very believable. And I thought everybody was like, well cast nobody really stood out to me mm -hmm. i wouldn't recast anybody in this i really couldn't envision anybody i just think it's the script and the story for me yeah that that didn't connect well i just feel everybody's gonna be very understanding of yeah that. well i hope <laughs> okay enjoy your talk amongst yourselves <laughs> <laughs> let us know what the next uh, telugu film we should watch is down below